Put traps I, in that room I, that you can see, hon. I, I call back. Guys, I found the green thing, right? We're out. Oh. Come on over here. Okay, cool. Look. Um, can I grab the silver or do I have to check the silver itself for a trap? No, you already checked. You can grab it. Okay, so I grab the silver. Okay, I'm going to need you. Oh, Christ's sake. To find the treasure! Yeah! More applause that I don't have a sound clip for because it broke. Wait, what am I finding? You gained another point of treasure. That means more. Oh, okay. All right, let's, let's, let's get the heck I out of Dodge. The, yeah, let's get out of here. <laughs> Green circle! <laughs> Come on, five hit points. Get down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Give me just a second. I was hoping you would get this far. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> no, no, it's not. No. Never good when Russell says that. Uh, the, the wall opens up, and again, the, the little gnome drags you guys out. And he drags you along a corridor into a doorway and leads you into an outside area. Uh oh. So you might have to zoom out a little bit for a moment. All I see is black. Uh, hang on. I tell you, you can't see anything either, Stone? No, nope, I can't see anything. Did you allow us to see certain things? That is weird. Yeah, I see a little bit of blackness. Doing it live, guys. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's okay. Like, are you on the right layer? Oh, you know what? Thank you, hon. That's what happened. I, I put your icons on the wrong. There we go. Okay, so let me describe what you can see. This is a overgrown garden. It used to be something a little bit more fancy, but is now covered in just, like, old trees and overgrowth and so on. To the north, that polygon shape looks like an old gazebo. There is a small lake directly ahead of you in the trees, and that is all you can see. Right next to you, to your left, there is actually a large pile of earth. Uh, okay. Like a huge pile of why i don't know it's a mystery uh it looks like they found the garden of evil oh god good luck for your adventures oh dear wait 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 what about sections man are we in a new section can yeah. i get all my hit points uh, back when when the gnome shows up to drag you off you're in a new section okay yay thank god because otherwise yeah, hit points have been reset spells have been reset Yay. Can I um, investigate this pile of dirt? Yeah. <laughs> I wander it's around. It's, it's literally like a mountain of dirt. Are you, you going to walk around it? Are you going to climb on top of it? Um, I'm going to walk around it. Okay, go ahead and start moving around it. Wait, where is the dirt? Oh, that's the dirt. Oh, okay. Yeah, I yeah. Yeah, the, the way it's designed, it's kind of hard to... It's all black, so I would just... Yeah, yeah black your left. left is the dirt mound. Okay. And can I roll investigation on it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, there's, some, there's something inside this mound of dirt, and you're pretty sure there's an obvious entrance to the north. To the north. That's not what your investigation says. He says it over the earpiece. Yeah, to the north there's an entrance. It's an underground section. Uh, I'll come back to that. And I do apologize. I realize that my character voice is slipping. As my throat gets sore, I start to lose more and more the ability to do such a high-pitched voice. Mm. Stop doing the high-pitched voice. Okay, so what do you guys want to do? Do you want to investigate the gazebo and the lake, or do you want to go further north on this dirt mound? 
Okay, Stone, at this point, all the way across and to your left, you can see the green circle to get out. It is surrounded by overgrowth. Uh, hey, guys, 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 guys. Way over there, there's a... So if I click there, will they be able to see the clicking thing? The uh, um, arrow? If they have line of sight on it. Yeah. Uh, okay, so... I, I found the green circle. So I don't know if okay. we uh, move on over there. We still have a key to find. That's right. And the boat. Let's do I check out the gazebo first? Yeah, let's go check out the gazebo real quick. Yeah. Dude. I'm so nervous even to move my little guy around. I know. <laughs> Everybody stop moving. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, you're so I, good I looking. Fucking trees. I need you to make a perception check. Okay. Everybody? Just stone or all of us? Uh, just stone to start with. He's going to be the most affected. <laughs> wow. Right. Everything was so, as okay. Long, something happened. So much for being the most effective. Bro, bro. Three koala shaped creatures. <laughs> what? Oh my god, drop oh. bears. Cletus friends are seeking revenge. These are koalas. That's what I think they are. Of course All they're going to come after me. Drop. <laughs> well, you passed the closest to him. Sorry. Uh -huh. And the announcer... Oh, what dangers appear in the forest? It's drop bears. Really, Jimmy? Drop bears? Really? <laughs> who, who wrote that? Oh, it was James. James wrote that one. Oh, okay. Hey, James, James, you're fired. Just, just get, <laughs> don't get your stuff. I'll have it mailed to you or burnt. Just get out. Yes, drop bears, deadly creatures from somewhere. Right. Oh, it's terrible. And everybody roll initiative, please. For Christmas sake. <laughs> wow, my initiative is terrible. Wow! Come on, guys! Tyler? I rolled a, I rolled a one. This is a, a... I showed a five. Oh, oh I, I don't see uh, stones, that's why. Stone, could you uh, just click on your, your Stone character? Stone rolls a four. Yeah, he yeah rolled a four. I rolled a four. So what... It didn't show up on the tracker. On? So do you need me to click it again? No, you gotta click on your token, and then click oh. on me. Oh, you I rolled see. slightly better. Hey, you oh, rolled one I better, which does you no mean. good. D, you are up first. Of course I'm up first. Can I... Make a perception check, please. Jesus. Perception. There it is. I've got good news. You spotted it. No, no, it's my <laughs> turn. Can I shoot it with an arrow? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Pew, 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 pew. Didn't hit it first. Not a thing. Of course not. They've got good AC for tiny little gopher looking things. I know, right? Um, can I move or will that you trigger move. it? Will it get an attack of opportunity? It's not, not close to you. Okay, I'm gonna go there. Okay. Okay, so uh, next, we've got the drop bears. Of course the one we do. Makes a tremendous jump. And you can see as it does so that its legs, which should be kind of tiny and koala shaped, are actually very large and frog shaped. It jumps high in the air and comes sailing down at D. Big padded butt first. Of course it does. That is a hit. So what, one damage? Oh no, that's not all the distance trap. 
It says one bludgeoning. Yeah, yeah that's, that's because I, it isn't set up for multiples. You take a total of eight points of damage as the thing hits you with its butt. Serious? Yes, it slams into you. Oof. Then it lands on its four legs and hisses at you. The four gather around stone, uh, no longer being in the trees, start slashing at them with their claws. There's four? Three. Three rounds. And all miss, bouncing off your armor. Thank goodness. Tyler? All oh, right, we we're the dealing... The tree's on fire. Um, tempting. Got a, quite a few enemies here. I'm going to go ahead and cast Magic Missile at second level. Okay, how are you dividing them? One each. Okay. Sorry, updating many hit points. Uh, oh, and there's the other one. Oh, darn this. Shoot, you shoot all four magic missiles out at them, and they turn at you and hiss. Stone? Aha, my plan. Okay, I'm going to hit this guy first. Hey, that is it. Now, keep in mind that after you roll your hits, you can use your special abilities then. You don't have to, like, roll it first. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean. Uh, you know your, your goading attack and whatnot? Yep. You can, you can use those after you hit. Okay. Most okay. of them. All the ones I get, you can use after you hit. Okay. That one, you hit that one a solid blow to the head and it just kind of glares at you and hisses with blood dripping off of it. It's not quite dead. Okay, wow. That's, that's... Don't forget your second attack. Yeah. <laughs> uh, attack. Okay, I'm actually going to use... Yeah, I'm going to hit this guy and then I'm going to do goading okay. attack afterwards. So... Wow. 15. That actually does hit. So I hit with the battle axe, and then what do I do for the goading attack? Uh, you add one d8, click on goading attack, and it'll pop up. Cool. How's it? What? Oh, add four. Okay, so that one has disadvantage on any attack but against you. Okay, anything else for you, Stone? No. No. I think D, you're, you're up. You're fine, yeah. You're, fi you're facing a, a koala with a razor sharp claws, sharp pointy teeth like this. Can I stab it? I presume so. Stab, stab, stab. That is not a hit. Ugh. Can I disengage? <laughs> yes, you can. How far back can I disengage? You can move up your 25. Run away. Flee! I'm gonna go there. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, okay. So, the uh, drop area that you just fled from scurries up the tree. Of course he does. And jumps at you. <laughs> Clever little bugger. He doesn't have to take an acrobatics or athletics check to get up the goddamn tree. No, it has a climb. Yeah, Can I try to acrobat my way out of the way? No, because this is a straight up attack. Oh, of course not. What's the That's damage? Eleven. Eleven. Wow. Oh, yeah. it's a that must shot. have oh, God. been Why a am I huge ass. <laughs> 
the three surrounding stone are just 